What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, no credit, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. Jamel Charlo's a nut, man. Jamel Charlo versus Terrence Crawford would have been one of Jamel Charlo's legacy fights. Jamel Charlo had no business fighting Canal Alvarez. You know, he's not a guy who can move up and wait and challenge the bigger man, even though Canelo's been at those little weight classes. But Jamel Charlo has never moved up in weight. Um, I'm not sure. Was they at 147? But I don't remember him being a champion at 147. So even if he did move up from 147 to 154, he still was never a champion at 147. So we don't know how well he translate when he moves up in weight. So for him to move up and not just one weight class, two weight classes to fight Canelo made no sense because he's never been the type of guy to move up in weight. He has always said he wanted to retire at his weight class. He wanted to be the best at his weight class. Become undisputed and defend those titles. He had no intentions of moving up. All of a sudden, a Canelo Alvarez fight come, and you take that, it's disgusting for the sport of boxing. Everybody knew Terrence Trough versus Charlo was the next big fight. Charlo knew it. The entire world knew it. PBC fumbled the bag. When PBC signed Terrence Crawford, they should have had a red carpet treatment where they said, listen, if you sign to us, we'll give you the fights you want. But we want you to fight these guys first or they could have worked something out. They could have maximized their money with Terrence Crawford. It's like they're taking business. They're making business too personal. And that's not and that's not what boxing is about. Boxing is business first. You know, because every promoter should be in it to make money, but these guys took it a little personal. They took it personal because they didn't believe Terrence Crawford was really gonna leave top rank and actually pursue the Earl Spence Jr. fight. The fact that he left his promoter when they Knew that was the only thing that was preventing the fight from happening because the fans, the fans was gonna keep clamoring for that fight. Terence Crawford versus uh, Earl Spence. Terence Crawford versus Earl Spence. But they knew that the fight would never happen as long as Terence Crawford was not a free agent. Crawford did what he had to do to come over there and try to make the fight. PBC failed to do what they needed to do, get this guy in a multiple fight contract so boxing fans can really enjoy some great fights in the sport. The very first fight, let, let me tell you what PBC should have did if they had really good matchmaking or they had really good uh, team over there. The very first fight for Terrence Crawford should have been Terrence Crawford versus, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about when Terrence Crawford left top rank. He didn't have to fight David Avenesian. PBC should have already been ready to welcome Terrence Crawford to the family. But they knew that Terrence Crawford was going to come over there and punch on their guys. And they didn't want to eat their words about Crawford and Bob Aram avoiding the fight that Earl Spence was going to beat Terrence Crawford. They didn't want to eat their words, you know. But like I said, they should have brought out the red carpet. And this should have been their business model. Crawford versus Keith Thurman. We get Keith Thurman out the way. Crawford gets past Keith Thurman. Crawford gets Earl Spence. If the fight was good, it deserved a rematch. If it wasn't good, just one-sided, 
we get Crawford versus Charlo. There was no reason for PBC to send Charlo up two weight classes to get Slaughter. The only reason they did that because they knew Terrence Crawford had the easiest way to undisputed at 154. They didn't want this guy to come over there and steal all of their belts in just two fights. But the guy is a free agent. He's not tied to nobody. So even if he came over there and stole all of your belts, you still have him on your stable. You still can feed him some of your other guys. You guys got guys at 160. So let's say he, he would have did what he's supposed to do. Take, take all the belts at 147. Go up to 154. Take all the belts. You guys could have matched him up. With another champion at 160 in Jamal Charlo or Carlos Adamas. You could have matched them up or Eris Londi Lara. These are all still big fights. Crawford will be getting a lot of legacy fights and PBC will be making a lot of money because this guy is actually willing to fight all of these fighters. But PBC fumbled the bag. Jamel Charlo fumbled the bag. Jamel Charlo fumbled the bag because Jamel Charlo, he got rid of those titles. He should have found a way to hold on to those titles. Even if he lost one title, he should have found a way to keep the rest of his belts. Because he knew eventually Crawford was coming up. Even if he didn't fight Crawford for undisputed. He still would have fought Crawford for the last remaining belts he had. But he literally just gave up his belts after he lost to Canelo Alvarez. PBC is advising this guy wrong. You know, they gave him the Canelo fight, but they refused to give him his other legacy fight, which is Terrence Crawford. And I feel like Charlo dropped the ball on that situation. Um, who's ever in his corner advising him is advising him wrong. Because there's no reason Crawford versus Charlo isn't happening. And if it never happens, we have to put the blame on Charlo. Because clearly Charlo wants no parts of Terrence Crawford. Because if he did... He would have did everything in his power to find a way to hold on to those belts. Because, because we all know Terrence Crawford is only interested in one thing only. And that one thing is kicking ass and collecting belts. Stamping his name. Stamping his name in history as one of the greatest fighters or greatest champion to ever do it. It's your boy, no credit. And I'm out. Charlo fumbled the bag.